a full system at once at the end. Um, as uh, for those who don't know, this is a special unpacking. Uh, got some DVDs as well, but uh, this might sort of be linked weirdly because I'm supposed to get another package sometime. I looked up, it said it was supposed to be coming today sometime because you don't know how you track the numbers. Um, it said it got to Des Moines, which is about 100 miles, and it got there and processed like 3.30 a.m. So apparently it's supposed to be coming sometime today. It's December 23rd, but um, hasn't come yet, and it's about 3.40 p.m. So might have to do that another time and link it together. But I'm going to open a patch that I got from another good friend. And uh, also some DVDs I got. And again, I was going to wait till I got all of them, but, you know. Um, it's December 23rd, and we've had a big old snowstorm. As you can see, all the snow there. God, look at all the snow, man. It's December 23rd. Look at all the snow. Wow. All the snow, and, man. <laughs> unbelievable it's December 23rd it's Iowa and there's not a spot of snow on the ground we haven't had any snow whatsoever for pretty much the entire month of December probably the first time I've ever seen a Christmas where there has not been a speck of snow on the ground crazy but uh global warming this is definitely happening but uh, I guess to deal with the DVDs I've gotten so far um, these are DVDs I bought it was 13 movies for $51 because I shopped at the Go Hastings that's you know, Hastings website and I waited until they had free shipping so you have a lot of movies there that are like two dollars three dollars a dollar fifty and then free shipping and you know no tax on it no tax, free shipping. That's pretty damn good. Thirteen movies for fifty-one dollars. It's pretty good. Um, and they all, they all haven't come in yet because you know it's different Hastings stores and they'll ship them out. Since they didn't come today, tomorrow is Saturday, but it's Christmas Eve, so it's probably not going to be open. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. I don't know, but I'm sure I won't have this up for a while. So, you know. Yeah, again, you'll probably see like a weird cut, but what I've gotten so far, I've gotten nine movies so far, so I have four movies left, but I got these, these were, again, most of these were pretty cheap, um, the reason it was $51, one, one I got was a $13 one which I'll get to. So, so the rest of the 12 was like $38. So it's, that's pretty good. $38 for 12 movies. Um, most of these were like between $1.50 and $3. Black Dog. I got this because uh, Patrick Swayze is no longer with us. Um, my friends say good things about this. I have saw it once before wasn't impressed the first time I saw it, but I wanted to give this another shot because uh, Patrick Swayze, since he's no longer with us, I wanted to give this one another shot. Black Dog from the director of Passenger 57. So I'll give this another shot. This is a film. Um, I've sort of getting back into Bruce Willis. I still, I've always enjoyed Bruce Willis, but I wanted to sort of grab some stuff that I did not have of his in the collection. This film I saw once. I know one of my friends actually calls this one of the most boring movies ever. Um, some other friends liked the film. I remember I saw this once and thought it was okay. But that is The Surrogates. And it was directed by the guy who did Breakdown and Terminator 3, Jonathan Mossdown. But that is The Surrogates.
at the end, most of these were like from a dollar fifty to three dollars, and then with no shipping and no tax. That's a pretty damn good deal. You can't beat thirteen movies for fifty one dollars. You can't beat that. Um, this one I got because it was two dollars. Well, you already saw it. I had the Blu-ray of this. I sold it. I got my money, and I figured, you know what? If I'm gonna have this, I don't need the Blu-ray. So I sold that shit. I got my money. And I waited to get this dirt cheap. This was like two dollars. Now this is a crappy, crappy movie. This guy's good in it, Bruce Willis. I got it because Bruce Willis is good. Bruce Willis is worth the two dollars. Tracy Morgan though ruins this movie. He does. Tracy Morgan ruins this film. Kim Smith, you can bitch about Bruce Willis all you want, but you had a shitty script. You did a poor job directing. Tracy Morgan was a horrible casting choice. Bruce Willis is the only thing you got going. And Bruce Willis was funny in the movie. I'm sorry. I will always say Bruce Willis is funny in the movie. Granted, the first time I saw this film, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed Bruce Willis. But Tracy Morgan really gets on your nerves. I think the Kurt cast many people. Eddie Murphy, Mike Epps. Hell, does it have to be a black guy? Could it be another white guy? Fuck's sake. But Bruce Willis, I like. I like Bruce Willis. I liked him in this movie. But the rest of the movie, the villain, the plot, but for $2, it's worth it for Bruce Willis for $2. So, it helps with my Bruce Willis collection. Um, the other Bruce Willis film I got, which I wanted to get, but this was, again, like $3. Red. Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, Helen Mirren. Fun movie. Entertaining film, Red. Um, 2010, I think it came out. And, uh, again, this was just a very uh, entertaining, fun movie. Um, I got a kick out of Red. Uh, much better movie than Cop Out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Red, definitely a step up. That's when you give Bruce Willis a good script. Kevin Smith. This film I got because it was dirt cheap. I wanted to see this film again. I don't. I did not like this film the first time I saw it. But when I saw the trailer to the sequel, I wanted to see this again. And it was about a buck fifty. GI Joe: The Rise of Cobra. I remember I first saw this. Was not a fan of this movie. Uh, I wanted to give it another shot because I did. I saw the sequel. I really enjoyed the trailer to the sequel. I remember liking Snake Eyes in this film. But I wanted to give this film another shot. I'll probably still not like it. But it was only $1.50. So even if I don't like it and want to pawn it. When I pawn it, it'll probably, I'll get like $2. So I'll get like 50 cents more than I paid for. So either way, I'm good. Either, well, okay, you know, whatever. I like Snake Eyes. Maybe Snake Eyes is worth the $1.50. Or I'm going to hate it even more. And I can sell it and get a 50 cents profit. <laughs> These two movies were about $5.70 a piece. But pretty good deal considering they're newer films. Your Highness. Again, I got this for for five dollars and seventy some cents. It's the unrated cut. Has the features, deleted scenes, dad reel, the making of. Um, feature commentary with the actors and director, Your Highness. A lot of fun. It was in my top 10 of 2011. Also got this for around $5. Green Lantern. It's the rental copy, but I don't really need the features. I've seen, I rented the Blu-ray where I work, saw the features, don't need to see them again. I'm not really a fan of the comic book of Green Lantern. But I was a fan of this movie. So the extended cut, I didn't need to see it. It's mainly, the extended stuff is mainly of when he's a kid. You see a little bit more of him as a kid. So I'm fine with this the theatrical cut. That is Green Lantern. This film I got because they're making a sequel to this film. Now I remember I really enjoyed this film until the final frames which left it as a sequel bait 
in my opinion. Um, that pissed me off and turned me off on the movie. But I had heard that uh, they're making a sequel called The Collection. Apparently they're making it. I don't know when the fuck that movie's going to come out. Um, but I know that the star of this film, who I liked, I liked Josh Stewart. I liked his character. Um, apparently he escapes, but then um, these people sort of kidnap him and make him, along with a group of people, go back. Because this girl that's missing, um, I hope is a fuckwell better than the Descent Part 2. I really do. I really, really do. I hope it's like Hatchet 2 or Long Turn 2, where, hey, it's not that bad. And if that's the case, then I already have the first film, and I died cheap, and I hope the collection, the sequel, is not a piece of shit. I hope so. Apparently they're making it now, but I don't know when the hell's going to come out. But again, the rest of the film I enjoyed of The Collector. This is the one that cost the $13, but I saw this documentary online. I really liked it, so I wanted to own it. More Brains, a return, the... Definitive Return of Living Dead documentary. This is a two hour documentary on the Return of Living Dead, and this film deserves the term definitive. It really does. Um, just this two hour long documentary. They got everybody. They got Miguel Nunez Jr., they got Clue Gulliger, everybody who's still alive. But they got Quigley. They got. Um, Tom Matthews, everybody, even the special effects guy who was fired halfway through. <laughs> but yeah, everybody. And they actually got features, which I wanted to get to because I didn't see these features. Um, the final interview from Dan O'Bannon before he passed away. Um, I guess like a 20, 30 minute look at the sequel, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. From what I've heard, if you're a fan of Return of the Living Dead Part 2, you don't want to see this film, because what I understand, they just bash that film a lot. <laughs> um, also, Return of the Living Dead Part 3, uh, look on that film for about 20-30 minutes. Um, music video of uh, the song Tonight. Look at the film locations today. I think a two hour long documentary. Now, there's a handful of things I would like to have seen them talk about the song. Um, it's party time. They don't really talk about that song, which was a big mistake in my part, in my opinion. They should talk about that song. I think it also would have been fun for them to mention Return of Living Dead 4 and 5. I think be f if they mentioned 2 and 3, they might as well mention 4 and 5, you know, I think that'd be fun. Apparently this is, there was a book on this that did mention those, but for some reason they didn't do that. But, uh, this is... It still deserves the definitive. It's a great documentary. I wish they could do this on a lot of other films. I wish they did this on the first Ninja Turtles movie. A two hour long documentary on the first Ninja Turtles film. And like 20, 30 minutes on the two sequels. That'd be fantastic. They should do this for the first Ninja Turtles movie. They should do this for a lot of movies. The Blob. I mean, a lot of stuff. But what do I know? But really good documentary. Look forward to checking out the features. And now, this is a package I got from my good friend Mike. But again, uh, I guess Efri has sent me a package, but it hasn't arrived yet. And it might not arrive Saturday because it's Christmas Eve. And obviously Sunday is Christmas, so maybe Monday. But I don't know. But uh, I'm going to open this. Let's find something to open with. Here first. Here we Okay. 
see what's in here. Okay. Got me, I guess, uh, action figures. That's cool of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's nice. You got me the Star Wars VHS tapes that I was talking about. Yeah, she got those for me. The original versions on VHS, the ones that are digitally mastered here, and they are the original versions. Wow. Wow. Can't believe he did that. <laughs> yeah, she got me those. Wow. Very cool thing here, too. I like that from OCP. That was very cool. I like that logo too. That's very cool. Star Wars. Wow. Nice. Man. Can't believe you got me this. Jacob's Ladder book. Of course, he knows I'm a huge fan of that movie. Wow. This is actually the script of the film with photos. So I'm just looking. Yes, maybe there's stuff that was cut out of the movie or is in the script too, and it's got photos. That's very cool. Oh wow, there's more to it than that too. Jacob's Chronicle about how the film came to the bid screen. Wow. I'm just looking. Yeah, this screenplay is different. Who the fuck was Michael? Is that even in the movie? I don't remember Michael in the movie. Let's see where Michael. Oh, Matt Craven's character? Yeah, this script's this script's pretty different from the movie. I'm just flipping through it and see a lot of this will be interesting, huh? With an annotated appendix of deleted scenes. Hmm. Very interesting. Wow. 
thank you very much, Mike. That's unbelievably awesome. So he got me Star Wars, the VHS I've been looking for. He got me Jacob's Ladder, the screenplay, which actually has the writer talking about the wanting to get the movie made. That's wonderful, man. Well, thank you very much, Mike, for the book and for the VHS. Definitely put it back in here. There it is. that back in there too. There we go. Well thank you so very much for that Mike. It's very heartfelt. Um, you didn't have to give me that but I know you already know that. But thank you once again Mike for the very kindness. Thanks for being my friend. And thank you for the nice gift. That's awesome. But thank you very much, Mike. And hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And hope you had a Merry Christmas by the time you probably see this. And then if all goes well, maybe I'll cut here and you will see more. Thank you. Later. Well, hey folks, this is Matt once again. Um, like I said before, that uh sorry my it I would be patching these things up, look kinda weird, but it's December twenty fourth. I guess the mail did go today because I got the rest of the stuff. Once again I wanna thank my friend Mike for this wonderful thing. Which Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, the original films in their original format, as well as the Jacob's Ladder book. Thank you very much, Mike. Now, let's get first to the rest of the stuff I ordered at Go Hastings for the $51. I guess I could do, yeah. you guys pretty much remember that, it's the same video. Uh, yeah. Got it. The Chase. I have this on VHS, but I like the film, so I wanted to get it on DVD. Plus it was pretty cheap, I think it was $1.50 or so, $2. So, Charge Sheet is winning! Yeah, I like this film. This is a fun movie. I liked it. This is probably the rest of it. Yeah, this is the rest of it. So that's, this is everything. This is a film. Oh, God. What quick like, I hate these fucking little things that go like this. You gotta go like, see these little flaps are fucking useless. See, you don't need it. It doesn't keep it more secure. So break the fuck. Break the fuck. It doesn't do shit. See, it's still fucking. What dreams may come. Around Williams film, I really do enjoy. It's directed by Vincent Ward. That's the same guy who wrote the strip for Alien 3 with the the wooden planet <laughs> and the months and he was going to direct Alien 3 but then he quit. But this I really enjoy What Dreams May Come. It's one of those Robin Williams films I I would put in my top probably put in my top five Robin Williams. I didn't have it but I wanted it. Again, very cheap. A lot of features, director's commentary, making of, alternate ending, trailers, about the visual effects, you know, alternate ending, photo gallery, uh, 
beautiful looking movie, What Dreams May Come. Definitely an interesting film, interesting flick. Um, I don't think this film was much of a hit when it came out, but I really did like it. That was a good movie. I've been wanting this film for a while in my collection. I finally decided to get it. A wonderful sci-fi film. Really made you think. Sam Rockwell in Moon. Four stars and awesome. Blow your mind. Has a commentary with the ride director and the producer. Uh, commentary with the ride director, the DP, and the concept designer. The making of Moon, creating the visual effects, and more. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Not going to give away what happens, but uh, interesting story. Also performed by Sam Rockwell. For the small budget they have, the film looks great. Um, shot well. Really solid, interesting film. Interesting flick. And I like this film. I know there are people who don't like this film. I don't understand it. Um, I did not play the game, but I read up on the game. It sounds shitty. But, tech in. This is a video game adaptation I really enjoy. Maybe because I'm not a big fan of the game. I'm not a big fan of the storyline. It's like you're the hero one game. Then you become the villain. Then the villain becomes a hero. Then the hero becomes the villain. Then the villain becomes a hero. And then the hero becomes a villain. And then everybody's a villain. And then no one's a villain. I'm sorry, that's the storyline to take in. I looked it up. Researched it. This one is more straightforward. Dwight Little did a good job. It's straightforward. It's well done. Fight sequences are practical. No CGI bullshit. Not a lot of wire work. It's entertaining. It was fast paced. 91 minutes, rated R. Really enjoy this film. Dwight Little, Alan B. McElroy, those two when they get together, whether it be Rapid Fire or even Halloween 4, I always enjoy them. So Tekken, I want to do my collection, finally do. No features, stunt stars, Tekken. Just probably five minutes talking about the stunts. That sucks. I know a lot of people hate this film, but fuck that. I think this was going to go in theaters because it cost like 30, 35 million bucks, but they didn't. Just went straight to DVD. Might as well say, bullshit. Finally, package from my friend Efri, who promised me to open this on camera. I have no idea what's in this, but he promised me to open this on camera. Hmm. And we got paper. Well, two pieces of paper he told me to read. Um there's nothing on these. I thought you said there was paper I was supposed to read, but I was supposed to. Hmm. The fucking paper is empty. Yeah, this is no, that's not. You said I'm supposed to read some papers. No, that's not the paper either. Oh, he got me hungry, man. Mmm. Pork ribs. Not that much potatoes, though. But, all right, he sent me a package of hungry, man. Pork ribs. Um. Okay. First time anyone sent me food in a package. But I guess I'm the one doing Christmas dinner. All right, thanks, man. Hungry man. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> no.
I know it's a weird cut there, but I had to do something to drink. <clears throat> because I pulled out <clears throat> these papers first to read. Hey Matt, I remember you saying that you've been meaning to get these flits in your collection. But guess what? You got it, bro. Merry Christmas. Okay, what do you get? This is a film that uh, I don't think he was a big fan of. He liked it okay, but uh, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Pathfinder. I did like this film. I liked uh, Carl Urban. I liked. I liked it better than Conan, the new one. <laughs> wow. I hope this wasn't expensive for him because I know he wasn't a big fan of the movie. I mean, he liked it okay, but wow. I know he's going to say, hey, I got it for you. And... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, he got it from the story goes JNR. That makes me feel more bad because that store rips him off because he's told me about shopping there and some of the movies he's gotten and the prices he says, they rip him off on prices. So I know he put pay a pretty penny for this, which is, if I was willing to do that for me, is even more heartfelt. That's nice. Pathfinder. Ooh, I got that in my collection. His favorite film. Wow. Iron Man 2. I didn't even know they did a two disc. <laughs> wow. Ah, that's nice. I, I like this film. I, mean, I don't love it like the best of the best. But I do enjoy this film. I, I did enjoy it. I, I liked it. I liked it for what it was. I did say I was going to get this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Wow. Two films I don't have to get now because of him. Wow. <laughs> very nice. I hope this is a good reaction. I just got up. So, I hope this is a good enough reaction. If not, I'm sorry, I'm screwing it up. Wow, that's nice. Oh yeah, there's more. Hey bro, here's some movie gems that thanks to your first time reviews you did back in March. I learned about them and enjoyed. Plus I know you did as well. Now you can rewatch them, this time on your TV screen instead of your computer. Your brother from another mother, Efri. P.S. It's a real crime these flits are not on DVD. What's this? <laughs> wow. You made some DVD R's for me for films that are not out on DVD. Two films that I watched and I really did enjoy. They were like two of the favorites. Creature from 1985. Which I thought you had known about that movie before. You said you found it on those? I thought you knew about Creature. And of course, Shakma! Shakma! I really like Shakma. And what's weird is I was thinking of hoping to find a DVD of this, but thanks to him. Now I got it. I really enjoy this film. I suck at making DVD-R, so that's why I don't do it. Because I suck at it. They always come out fucked up, or they always take like 50 hours to do. So I give up. But thanks to him, he took the time. And the thing is, folks, these are not on DVD. 
or you find them they're like 50 bucks if you do or their ship quality might as well have these and this is even more hard to since he sent them thank you so very much for that for all this stuff Preacher Shakma, which I gotta watch Shakma again as well sometime soon I gotta watch thank you so much for these especially because I know that fucking store rips you off on movies because I bet they made him pay like 50 bucks for this and then and 80 bucks in a toll tag for this this fucking store rips people off um, I'm sorry I just don't like my friends being ripped off especially if they're paying someone for me but the thought was more than wonderful and thank you much, so much for these as well that's awesome Thank you so much, Mike and Effrey, for these. I got a book too, but it's hard to hold these in two hands. Thank you so much for these guys. I feel so shitty now that I didn't get anybody anything. Because I heard about it, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go get something. And then it's five miles away, and I don't have a car. And it's gonna take, feel like it's 20 miles away. I'm not gonna be able to get there. Shit. And, uh, again, I apologize for that, but. Um, hopefully I can think of something, although I don't even know what Mike would want. Maybe some laser dicks, as he calls them. Sorry, Mike. Laser dicks, sorry, but one time he did a video call and they were called laser dicks. <laughs> the guy sends me stuff and I'm making fun of him. Just being fun. But you know what, honestly, these are not the best gifts I've gotten. The best gifts I've gotten every year from Mike, from Afri, from you guys out there. Especially Mike and Effrey. His friendship. Sounds cheesy, sounds corny. Sounds gay. But uh, in all seriousness, that's the best friend that's the best gift I've gotten. Each and every year is to come home from work, get on this computer, and converse with friends. Sometimes I'm not the best well spoken. Sometimes I just can't think of anything to say. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I'm very quiet, and I just can't think of anything. Sometimes it's hard for me to do two things at once. If I'm doing something, it's hard for me to talk. But the friendship, it's the best gift a guy like me could have. And whether they're doing these BS casts or whatever, it's always the best time. And every year I'm thankful for that. And that I have friends who are nice enough to send me stuff even though they weren't prompted. They didn't have to. They did because they wanted to. And that's... Sometimes it's more than I think I deserve. But, uh... Um... It's still very heartfelt. And... You know... It's not so strange. I, I can honestly say I'm closer to some of you guys than some of my own family which I think that's more common than you think because you know in some parts of your family you have no common ground on no common ground but you do on here and to Mike and Efri as well as Michael Keane and Aaron and John and but especially to Mike and Efri um, you guys are the best friends I've ever had in my life I do consider you my brothers. I know it's very cheesy, but hey, it's Christmas season. It's time for that. So, for everyone out there, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Be safe. Be sound. Be hopeful for the future. We will see what 2012 brings us. And we will see you at the movies. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.